name's James Back with 360 and Back. In today's short eye guide tutorial, I'm going to go over how to share your brand new shiny eye guide. Um, in the knowledge base, you want to type in the eye guide sharing options in the uh, search engine there. And if you're not familiar with the eye guide knowledge base, I made a previous video on it, which I highly recommend to go back and watch. So jumping right into it, you now have your brand new shiny eye guide. You've already uploaded photos to it. You've already added the descriptions to it and you already made tags for it. So now it's time to share it with the world. So you can do this in a few different ways. One of my favorite ways is just going all the way over to the right to where it says public URL. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it's going to bring up my whole eye guide. Now, when you're looking at my guide, you're going to say, hey, hold on a second. What is all this jazz? This is just a, um, a Radex view, which is meant for more like contractors and construction than it is for actual home. Um, this is a relatively low cost because this was just a practice tour that I was doing in this uh, Airbnb. Anyways, um, so when you share this link, this is going to be the default view. This is what it's going to look like. So... Some people want it to start with the photos. Some people want to start with like a video. Um, I prefer just to keep it as the default view, but I really don't like this angle that much. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is setting up the proper angle. So for instance, if I want to um, look at this table over here, but I don't like this edge, I like this other edge. And oops, went over here, I'll go back to the table itself, there we go. So what I wanna do is find what I wanna look at first. Um, I want the viewer to look at this table. So you wanna make sure that you have this lined up just the way that you want it, okay? So if you have it way up here, that's what they're gonna see. If you have it looking at your feet, that's what they're gonna see. So you wanna make sure it's nice and level and center to what you like. Once you've done that, you can click on the share button and then here's all the different options I was telling you. So your start pages, this is the default. Uh, you can default on 3D tour, uh, photos, and video. Uh, here's a link that you can copy and paste anywhere you want to. And here's a special button. So say at the very beginning, we were very happy with the, uh, the direction that it was pointing. We don't have to worry about this. But say that we are changing it. We'll just go ahead and click link to current 3D view. So when we share this, we're going to be able to see this table right here. And if we want to if we want to double check and make sure, we just hit this copy button. We'll go to the top. And we'll just go ahead and type it into our search bar and enter. And it brings us right to this view that we wanted to see to begin with. So now we know that it works. So you have this now. So here's a couple of different options that you can do. You can share it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, so do an email or a virtual showing. Virtual showing is going to be in a separate video all by itself because it's a really cool uh, free feature that you can use, especially when showing a home. Um, so as far as like the Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all you have to do is just click on the icon. And if you already logged into your Facebook account, uh, you're going to be already in there. If not, then you're just going to be prompted to uh, sign in and then you just go that way. Uh, so once you're in here, you can go ahead and just talk about the property. Um, you know, uh, nice home for sale. Uh, once you do that, you just go down to where it says post to Facebook, click on that, and it's going to go there. Uh, you do have a couple different options down here. Again, this will just go in your feed. You can add this to your story. Uh, you can tag friends if you want to type in the address, you can do that right there. So you just put wherever you're closest to. Um, it's just like a normal Facebook post. So we're not gonna post anything. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and cancel. Well, actually, we're just gonna close it out. There it goes. Uh, you can do the same thing with LinkedIn. Just click on the LinkedIn and here's your tour on LinkedIn. Again, this is the just the picture preview of it. But once they click in there, they're still gonna see the uh, table as their first thing. Uh, so here you can share in the post, you can send us a private message. There you go. So Twitter, Pinterest, email.
Uh, so it makes it super easy to share between all these different uh, platforms. Uh, another great thing to keep note is that when you do, when someone enters your 360 tour, uh, they're going to have this ability to share it as well. So, you know, so say that you send it to, you know, one particular, you know, home buyer prospector, they take a look at it and say that they want, you know, their significant other to see it. So instead of having to send out multiple links, they can easily just sit there, share it, email it, and boom, it's done. Um, so this makes it really easy and fun to be able to do that. I hope this answered all your questions about how to share your 360 tour. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave me an email uh, and really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.